death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Dalmasca. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmasca had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rasla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. The counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood.